Welcome back, everyone, to the Viking Weekend channel. I am your host and mighty chieftain, Salty Viking. I hope you're all having a great day today. And in this uh, video, we're going to be continuing with our playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Now, in the last episode, we continued our conquest of the Elite Four at Blueberry Academy here. And we defeated the second of them, uh, Crispin. So that is two down, two to go, and in this video we're going to take on the third member of the Elite Four, that being Amaris, the Steel-type user. We met her when we, we met up with Carmine in, uh, in the uh, Central Plaza, and so now we're going to go head to the Canyon Biome and go to battle with her. So, before we do that, as always, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. Uh, I would love for you all to uh, be a member of my Viking village. So, as I always say, join the raid and welcome to the village. Alright, so let's head on out. I did change up my team. I got Saraledge, Golurk, Garchomp, kept Lucario, kept Dragonite, and kept Lantern. So, pretty much the only one I changed out from the last video was I switched out Gardevoir and put Saraledge in. Because, uh, yeah, Gardevoir will take a beating because Ameris is a steel type. Let's head to the Terrarium. All right. And we're just going to head on down. It is still nighttime. And I'm gonna head over this way here. Yeah, we'll just get shiny things on the way over. This way, this way. Oops, come on. Or am I? Oh, that's the border. Never mind. That's the, the boundary. That's the side of the terrarium. Okay. Oops. We'll deal with this. And you're done. Oh, and I did forget to mention in the last video, so I'll mention it here. We are up to 144 out of the 200 that we need to talk to Perrin. And get that date that I've been trying fighting so hard for. All right. And like I said, there's just a lot of shiny stuff on there. Oh my god, there's like way too much. Protector. That would be used to evolve Rhydon into Rhyperior. Once you trade him. And there's the canyon biome. Oops, and I ran into a scyther. 
my bitter blade. Goodbye. Okay. That's the uh, that's an Alolan graveler. God, there's a lot of stuff here. There we go. And there is the plaza right there. That white structure at the top there. That's where we'll be going. So we're going to do a little bit of spelunking. God, what's his face from um, Pokemon X and Y, the the rock climbing gym leader? He would love this area. All right, we're gonna climb on up. And we're almost there. And we've arrived. Canyon Plaza in the terrarium. We're going to go over here and just heal up. That way we walk into this ready to go. Sarah Legend and the other Pokemon are all better now. Oh, a Metang! Okay, so let's... Okay, so... Yeah, I should be good. So we'll just do a quick save. So I'm going to say this. Ameris' trial is actually the easiest... Well, the second easiest out of uh, all of them, because, you know, Lacey's the qu uh, quiz trial, obviously the easiest one there. But, um, but yeah, then An Ameris would have the second easiest one, then Crispin, and then Drayton. Welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We're the team that supports Ameris of the Elite Four. And you're Halbert, right? One of the, the Blueberry League challengers. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Well, I'm not willing to pay, but I am ready. You paid 50 Blueberry Points. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Now here she comes, our very own Ameris! As... Stoic and stiff as always. Halbert, yes? As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required. Come. My gosh, she is just so rigid. The decision to allow you to take on the League was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four, for as flawlessly as I always do. The Elite Trial I devised starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the skies of the Terrarium while riding a Pokémon. Reach the goal within the prescribed time, and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite Rings, and extra time will be added to the countdown. 
I recommend you go to as many rings as possible as you fly toward the goal. Can you verify that you are ready and willing to take on my flying time trial? I'm ready. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its ball. I swear, you know, it's, if you've ever watched any Star Trek episode, she would be perfect for the voice of the computer. Ah, yes. Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agius, yes? This is for you to eat. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about rigid. <laughs> chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. I love how her hair, she has braids in her hair that looks like bolts. Like stiff as Frankenstein. Ah, yes! Maridon is brimming with power. Now you are playing with power. What your what your Agius just consumed is a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of, myster of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. You don't say. It wouldn't happen to have the word Mystica in it by chance, would it? Your Agius will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. Try to reach the goal within the time limit by flying on Maridon's back, passing through Magnemite rings, will grant you extra time. You can fly freely in any direction using the left stick. Move the left stick up to fly up, left stick to fly down, move the left stick left or right to change direction. Okay. You have all you need to begin the challenge. I wish you luck. Alright, here we go. Taking on the flying time trial. And there's the finish line. Okay, here we go. Time to focus. Three, two, one. Alright. Whoa, gotta go up. So far, so good. Oh, shoot, I went... <laughs> Okay, gotta go up. Pretty much as long as you go to the Magnemite rings, you're good. Because you have to clear it in 30 seconds. And we're going to do it. Easy as pie. With 37 seconds to spare. Of course, with all the time bonuses, you know. Lead trial. Take on the flying time trial. Cleared. This will be a very short video. Depending how long the battle is, and depending how much of a pain in the ass Amaris is. That was an impressive display of punctuality. I must admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. <laughs> oh my god, she's even stiff and how she claps. Now a change of location is required once again. Come. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Sure thing. Let's do it. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Position assumed. Oh god, she is such a robot. There is one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Halbert? Uh, 
Right now, I don't really know. So you are uncertain. I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I feel I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. Oh, she's ready. All right, she's got an Alolan Dug Trio and a Skarmory. Get ready, Skarmory. You too, Dug Trio. We're finishing this battle right on schedule. Okay, so we're going to do Fire Blast on Skarmory and High Horsepower on Dug Trio. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh, crap, really? An unfavorable type matchup. You caught me off guard. Now my glasses have fogged up. Oh, my God. Stealth Rock. Oh, shit. Not this. Point of Stones float in the air around your team. And then any member of my team comes out, they're going to get hurt by it. Oh, those damn bear focus sashes. Tangling hair, go look, speed fell. I swear, her, that, the little and Doug trio looks like a, it could be part of the Beatles. Okay, uh, Hyper Potion. And. Take out Doug trio. There we go. Good as new. Well, oh crap, I used the wrong one. And that's one down. Again with the tangling hair. Whirlwind. Oh, crap. It took out one of my team members. Who's it going to bring in? Lantern. Ow. Reunculus. Uh. Thunder. I'll use Phantom Force on you. Ding! That's two down. Reunculus use Energy Ball. And it missed! Ha <laughs> ha! Send out Empoleon. A little bit of thunder! Grass Knight. Oh, great. There we go. Oh, crap. Energy Ball. That's a grass move. And there goes Golurk. Great. Uh... Oh, that's got leftovers. We'll bring in Dragonite. And we'll blast Empoleon again with Thunder. And I'll use Dragon Rush on Reunculus. Are you serious? That's three down. Th three to go. Oh, 
Also, at the time of this recording, it's January 10th, and the Indigo Disc epilogue will be coming out tomorrow, the 11th. Scizor. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to use this on Reunculus. And I'm going to use Fire Blast on Scizor. Trailblaze. Oh, crap. Alright, so this should be, she should be bringing out her last Pokemon. And I better heal up or else I'm in trouble. Super effective. The Oka Bent really okay. Metagross. Uh You know what? I'm not gonna heal Lantern up. If it gets knocked out, then I'm gonna bring in um da -da 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 Lucario. Get rid of Scizor. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. Oh, now she's getting fired up. She's going to terastalize Metagross in a steel. Perfect. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Ice punch. Damn! Uh, I'm gonna have to bring out... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so I'm gonna bring in... Swap in Lucario. Place on the left. I'm gonna bring in Garchomp. And I'm going to revive or heal up Sarah Ledge. Okay. We're going to take out Metagross. And we're going to heal up Sarah Ledge. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Aerial Ace? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Yes! Knocked out Metagross! That just leaves Scizor in play. Now I can take him out with Sarah Ledge. You're done. Alright, here we go. Again with the... Yeah. Or Sphere, uh, hopefully that's going to take out, we'll take out Scizor. Bullet Punch. Okay, I'm okay with this, that's fine. Because I'm going to end this with Sarah Ledge. You're done! And we have defeated Amaris. I am not enough, I see.
The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, you care plenty. Even if you are a robot. Halbert, you truly are a kind person. All right, then. Time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. Oh, my God. You're doing the heart uh, gesture. That's so funny. Because she doesn't know whether she wants to be a robot or a very emotional person. I will give you this TM2. It contains a favorite move of mine. You obtain TM225, hard press. You put the TM225 in your bag's TM pockets. The target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the target has, the greater the move's power. It is up to you to help Kieran, Halbert. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. It is time for me to get my bolts tightened. <laughs> That is so mean of me. Yo, 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 champ in the making. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Amaris sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amaris is, as rigid as she looks... She's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from outside. You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite fourth match is going to be against me. Nice of you to save the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. Yep, he's the next opponent and we will deal with him in the next video. And his trial is going to be a little bit harder to do. So I am going to have to do a little prep work before I go into this, the next video. Pardon me. I, why do I have the hiccups all of a sudden? But anyway... Um, That'll be that'll be it for this video. I'll be it a very short video. Uh, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell. Be kept up to date when future videos drop. We, I am like I said, I'm I got future plans for this channel, and you know I would love for you all to join the raid and welcome to the village. And with that being said, this is your mighty chieftain and friendly neighborhood metal rooster, Salty Viking, reminding you to live brave and free, fight to the nail, and you all have a glorious Viking weekend. And I will catch you in the next episode. Later.